Chapter 2. Arkad's Dream When I was a young boy, I liked watching people. There were happy people, and there were unhappy people. I liked being with the happy people, so I watched them closely and asked, What makes you happy? Some said, being with my family. Others said, doing the things I love to do. Still others said, helping other people. My father was a good man, but he was not always happy. He was always worried about something. He worried about our food. He worried when my mother got sick. He worried when he did not have money to pay our master. He worried about so many things. Then, I noticed one thing. Wealth increases a person's ability to be happy. A father who has enough money can spend more time with his family. A man who does not worry about his next meal can do things that he loves to do. A man who has enough can help others. Wealth is power. With wealth, many things are possible. You can have a beautiful home, feast on delicacies, sail the distant seas, buy your favorite ornaments, build temples for the gods, and help others. You can do so many things that delight your senses and feed your soul. So, I decided that I would claim my share of the good things in life. I will not be a poor man, enviously watching others on the side. I will be a rich man. Being a son of a humble merchant with a large family, I had no hope of inheritance. I wasn't gifted with superior intelligence or strength, so I knew I had to work harder than others to be rich. But I also knew that I had something in common with the rich men. Time. Both rich and poor had the same number of hours in a day. I was young and I had plenty of time. And you, my friends, had that too. With this in mind, I decided to find out how one builds and grows wealth. I worked as a scribe in the Hall of Records. I worked long hours upon the clay tablets day after day, month after month. And yet, I always had nothing left from my earnings, but I was determined to pursue my dream to be rich.